So, we take you back to 1977. This is Mr. John Travolta. This is Saturday Night Fever. This is the biggest selling soundtrack in the history of the world. It was number one on the charts for 24 weeks straight. It's in the National Archives. They are trying to preserve this as a piece of history. Right? But there was a problem. Because all the critics wanted to talk about was disco. All the media worldwide, all they would talk about is disco this, disco that. Nobody else could get any coverage at all. But there was this little movement happening called punk rock. Right? And they had a story to tell, but they could not get anyone to pay attention to them. Bands like The Clash, The Sex Pistols, The Ramones, they had something to say, but nobody would listen. So what did they do? Well, they started to tell their own story. And they became so outlandish in the way they would tell the story that they forced people to talk, to listen to them. They forced the media to pay attention to them. Because the future was unwritten in the words of Joe Strummer. Joe Strummer was a disruptor. He was a thought leader, right? The Sex Pistols wanted to throw a brick at your head. They wanted full-on anarchy. But Joe Strummer, he wanted to change the world. In fact, he said, if you don't like the world, then change it. So that's what they did. As they became <laughs> greater and greater storytellers, the media started to pay attention. And next thing you know, punk rock is killed disco. We can all thank God for that, right? Because... <laughs> This world would be a much different place. You all would have much different hairstyles and much different clothes if it wasn't for Joe Strummer.